Let's see how easy it is to use CSS preprocessors in VIT projects. And for demonstration purposes, we're going to use SAS. So let's open up our main JavaScript file and import new stylesheet with the name 6.css. Let's go ahead and create this file in assets folder. By the way, this will be a SAS file. So in main.js, let's change this extension on SAS. And now we're basically going to use arbitrary CSS rule, convert this rule invalid SAS syntax. And then let's also switch over to index.html and remove all Tailwind CSS classes that were left since previous lesson. Vit provides support for different CSS preprocessors such as SAS, LESS, Stylus, out of the box. So all we have to do is to install CSS preprocessor we'd like to use. In our case we're using SAS, so let's run this command and install CSS compiler. After that, we need to restart our development server, so let's run npm run dev once again. And in a browser, we'll see that those tasks that have been specified within SAS file have been applied. That means SAS successfully compiled our source file, and it was successfully served to a browser. And as a response, Weed has returned compiled CSS file in the form of string, which has been assigned to this Weed CSS constant. And of course, this ECMAScript module has run, and our styles have been injected on the page, as always, within head element. And if we'll take a closer look at the transformations that Reed has applied, we'll see that our source SAS file has been firstly converted to valid CSS syntax, and then Vit has transformed this code once again to convert it to valid ECMAScript code, which will inject CSS code on the page. And by the way, along with CSS preprocessors, we can also use CSS modules at the same time. And for this, we need to use module word in the file name. Let's rename this source file. We have already seen how to work with CSS modules in one of the previous lessons. So we're not going to spend too much time on this here. Let's just see what is going to happen when we import CSS module like this, which also has preprocessors code. And let's take a look what value we're going to get in this styles variable by printing it in a console. If we leave it as this, in a console we're gonna get an empty object. So let's go back to SAS file and change this selector on class. For example, wrapper. And there we go. Now this object contains one key which corresponds to class name. And the value will be generated class name with random hash. And of course, CSS rule that corresponds to this unique class name has been injected within head element. And now in our JavaScript file we can use this class name in whatever way we'd like. For example, let's manually assign this class to the body element, like so. And of course in a browser we will see that this rule has been applied to our heading element. And this is how easy it is to work with CSS preprocessors in Vit projects.